your table as we listen to your word. Nourish us with sacred story till we claim it as our own. Teach us through this holy advent how to make love's gifts we own. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. <laughs> Let's begin our celebration by first calling to mind all our sins and all our failures. Let us ask God for forgiveness and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and, for, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows. So our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Some men rushed into the upper chamber of Daniel's home and found him praying and pleading before his God. Then they went to remind the king about the prohibition. Did you not decree, O king, that no one is to address a petition to God or man for 30 days, except to you, O King. Otherwise, he shall be cast into a den of lions. The King answered them, The decree is absolute, irrevocable, under the Mede and Persian law. To this they replied, Daniel the Jewish exile has paid no attention to you, O King or to the decree you issued. Three times a day he offers his prayer. The king was deeply grieved at this news, and he made up his mind to save Daniel. He worked till sunset to rescue him. But these men insisted. They said, Keep in mind, O king, that under the Mede and Persian law, Every royal prohibition or decree is irrevocable. So the king ordered Daniel to be brought and cast into the lion's den. To Daniel he said, May your God, whom you serve so constantly, save you. To forestall any tampering, the king sealed with his own ring and the rings of the lords, the stone that had been brought to block the opening of the den. Then the king returned to his palace for the night. He refused to eat, and he dismissed the entertainers. Since sleep was impossible for him, the king rose very early the next morning and hastened to the lion's den. As he drew near, he cried out to Daniel sorrowfully, O oh, Daniel, Servant of the living God, has the God whom you serve so constantly been able to save you from the lions? Daniel answered, O king, live forever. My God has sent his angel and closed the lions' mouths so that they have not hurt me. For I have been found innocent before him, neither to you have I done any harm, O king? This gave the king great joy. At his order, 
Daniel was removed from the den and heard because he trusted in his God. The king then ordered the men who had accused Daniel, along with their children and their wives, to be cast into the lion's den. Before they reached the bottom of the den, the lions overpowered them and crashed all their bones. Then King Darius wrote to the nations and peoples of every language, Wherever they dwell on the earth, all peace to you. I decree that throughout my royal domain, the God of Daniel is to be reverenced and feared. For he is the living God, enduring forever his kingdom shall not be destroyed, and his dominion shall be without end. He is a deliverer and savior, working signs and wonders in heaven and on earth. And he delivered Daniel from the lion's power. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Do and reign, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to Him. Please stand. Stand erect and raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your you. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, know that its desolation is at hand. Then those in Judah, Judea, must flee to the mountains, that those within the city escape from it, and let those in the countryside not enter the city. For these days are the time of punishment, when all the scriptures are fulfilled. Woe to pregnant women and nursing mothers in those days, for a terrible calamity will come upon the earth and the wrathful judgment upon its people. They will fall by the edge of the sword and be taken as captives to all the Gentiles, and Jerusalem will be trampled underfoot by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and on earth nations will be in dismay, perplexed by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. But when these signs begin to happen, stand erect and raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. So, sabi itong susunod na mga araw, dalawang araw, ay pagtatapos ng liturgical year. Kaya maintindihan natin yung mga pagbasa natin ngayong, ngayong 
hapon ngayong araw lalo na lalo na dito sa gospel tungkol sa katapusan ng mundo uh, takot no? may mga signs may mga persecutions and so on pero kung pupunta naman tayo sa sa first reading parang mas ano mas pleasant pag-isipan kahit na mayroong pagtatapos pa rin uh, pero mas pleasant mas um, para mas inspiring to do something instead of inspiring us to fear and, and terror and, and anxiety. Yung first reading, mas nakakaano sa atin na kung baka pwede meron pa tayong gawin. Parang uh, nililid tayo para mapag-isipan kung pwede pa tayong uh, kung meron pa tayong pwede gawin. Ano ba yung first reading na basa sa atin na ating reader about the story of Daniel? Si Daniel na inilagay sa kulungan ng mga leon para ipakain sa mga leon. Bakit? Kasi pinagbawal ng hari ang magdasal sa ibang Diyos. At si Daniel nagdadasal sa kanyang Diyos. Sa Diyos ng mga Israelites. At nakita siya, isunumbong siya, at sinabi ng mga nagsumbong, hindi ba dapat pakain sa leon yan katulad ng iyong, iyong decree? So, ipinasok sa kulungan si Daniel para may ipakain sa leon. But in, even in the lion's den, He just prayed. With all trust in God, he prayed. He prayed and, and, uh, and God responded by sending angels to close the mouth of the lion para hindi siya makain. Whether that happened literally or not, hindi natin, hindi ko alam. But nonetheless, ang point is, gumawa ang Diyos ang paraan para hindi mapahamak si Daniel. Bakit? Kasi matapat siya. He was true to his faith. Kahit na merong banta ng kamatayan from the king and from the from his his people, hindi siya nagpadala dun sa banta na yan. He was true to his faith, firm in his faith. Patuloy pa rin siyang nagdasal sa kanyang Diyos, ang Diyos ng Israelites. Tapat siya sa Diyos. Maming mga yung, yung katapatan lang din. Of course, dito sa story, medyo mabigat yung katapatan na yun. Ano? Kasi in the face of the lion, tapos magiging matapat ka sa iyong pananampalataya. Parang very heroic. It doesn't have to be heroic all the time. Kasi sabi na sa atin na eh, yung mga ginagawa natin at mga sinasabi natin, minsan malayo ang nararating tungo sa pagbabago. Hindi lang ng ating sarili, kundi kahit ng ibang tao. Bawat salita natin, bawat kilos natin, minsan kahit bawat pag-iisip natin, ay malayo ang nararating tungo sa pagbabago ng ating sarili at ng ibang tao. Ganun yung nangyari kay Daniel. Dahil sa kanyang katapatan, ng kanyang pananampalataya, dahil sa kanyang pagdarasal, hindi lang siya na, na save, no? hindi lang siya na preserve from death in the lion's den, mas maganda yung nangyari. Ano yung nangyari? Yung hari, magmula nung nakita yun, ay nagbago. Yung hari, na-convert to believe the God that, that uh, Daniel was praying to. Sabi ng reading, sabi daw nung king, the king and his people reverenced and feared God, the God of Daniel. And sabi niya, He is the living God, enduring forever. His kingdom shall not be destroyed, and His dominion shall be without end. He is a deliverer and savior, working signs and wonders in heaven and on earth. He delivered, he delivered Daniel from the lion's power. Na-convert. Nagbago yung puso ng king. At dinigri niya na yung buong, buong kaharian ay may reverence sa God ni Daniel. Dahil dun sa pagpapakita ni Daniel ng kanyang pananampalataya and firm as of his faith. So malayo, maraming nagagawa ng bawat salita, bawat kilos natin. I remember one time na may nakausap ko na isang, isang monk, isang uh, Trappist monk. Dati daw siya, sabi niya, siya yung abot, siya yung highest superior ng kanyang community dun sa Gimaras, sa Iloilo. Tagal na ito. Sabi niya, <clears throat> Sabi ko sa kanya, bakit ka naging mong? Paano ka naging mong? Pinakwento ko sa kanya yung kanyang 
uh, vocation story. Sabi niya, alam mo, hindi naman ako dati katoliko eh. Ano, dati, nagano, protestante or something. Alam mo, nagbago sa akin, nagpa-convert sa akin para maging katoliko, sabi niya. No, ako yung soldier, nung dati, nung during the war, nung nag-sisilbi uh, pa siya, sabi niya. Tuwing kakain, may nakikita ko dun sa malayo, isang another soldier, who before eating, sabi niya, would stand before his tray, no? and make a very fervent sign of the cross. Sabi niya gano'n. Araw-araw doon, nung makikita, ito yung makikita niya bago kumain, yun ang ginagawa ng tao. And he was so impressed. Hindi ko na alam kung ano ibang mga nangyari, but eventually, he became a Catholic. Not only did he, did he become a Catholic, he became a Trappist monk. Medyo stricto ang buhay niya. Not only did he become a Trappist monk, he became the abbot superior nung, nung uh, monastery na yun sa Gimaras. That was a long time ago. Ito yung kanyang story. Just because of the sign of the cross of this soldier, nagbago ang kanyang buhay. Naapektuhan ang kanyang buhay. Sa bawat araw-araw na ibinigay sa atin ng Diyos, we say a lot of things, marami tayong mga salitang nasasabi, marami tayong ginagawa, marami tayong mga actions na ginagawa. Can you imagine? Kung bawat isa sa ating mga salita, at bawat isa sa ating gawa, ay nakikita kahit sa malay, hindi natin alam kung sino ang nakakakita sa atin. Can you imagine kung nakikita tayo from afar na isang taong naghahanap ng signs o ng, ng inspiration? Makikita tayong gumago ng mabuti, nagbibigay ng limos, nagtakangiti, mukhang masaya, gumago ng mabuti, being nice to people. Nagsasabi ng magagandang mga salita to people, hindi, sum- hindi ba sumit, no? Kung nakikita tayo, napapansin tayo ng mga tao, ang dami-dami siguro natin mapapagbago. Kahit hindi natin alam. Kahit hindi natin alam. At hindi natin kailangan malaman. just ang bahala doon. But if we can only be firm in our faith, no? Magi tayong matatag sa ating pananampalata at sa ating uh, conviction to live our lives as Christians. Be kind in our words and our actions. Be charitable in our actions and even in our thoughts. Dami siguro natin mapapagbago. Dami natin mapapagbago. Lalo, lalo na yung sarili natin. Mapapagbago natin. Hingin natin sa mahal na bilin. Sana, as we, go, as we end this liturgical year, sana in the next year, maging tayong mas pa. Mas Kristiyano pa. Mas mabait pa. Mas mapagpatawad. Mas magpapakumbaba. Mas generous to others. So that others may also be um, affected, be transformed by our goodness. By God's grace. Let us all stand now. As we are gathered to celebrate the mystery of our salvation, let us turn to God the Father with confidence and implore His mercy. After each petition we say, Faithful Lord, bless us. Faithful Lord, bless us. That the people of God may be drawn to prayer and penance as they hope for the coming of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Faithful Lord, bless us. That those who govern human society may see the hands of God moving in the events of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Faithful Lord, bless us. That we may look to the future with hope and confidence. Let us pray to the Lord. Faithful Lord, bless us. That the sick may live in security and hope through the prayers and support of their family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Faithful Lord, bless us. That the Son of Man may grant salvation to those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Faithful Lord, bless us. Let us pray for our own personal intentions and for the special intentions of this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Faithful Lord, bless us. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your people and help us to embrace the daily challenge of the cross. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, 
Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray now to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins of the world, have, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please kneel for the credo of stewardship. I believe in the God of love, the owner of everything, who possesses everyone. I believe in the God of mercies, who has chosen me to be a steward of Mother Nature and Mother Church. In spite of who I am and what I've done, and in spite of the infidelities he knows I will still commit. I believe in the power of giving and in the power of loving like Jesus, because love is the only way to holiness. Giving is the best proof of loving, and perfect renunciation leads to unlimited fruitfulness. I believe that in freely giving my time, in humbly sharing my talents, and in generously sacrificing my treasures, the Lord will always provide. He will take care of all my needs and bless me with infinite reward on earth and in heaven. I will be the first to give. I will not wait for the others. I will keep on giving even if others do not give. I will not be afraid to have none. I believe that the best time to share is now, not tomorrow, for tomorrow is an excuse of the greedy. I will keep my needs and wants simple and few, for I believe that in reducing my selfishness, I will grow in happiness and holiness. I am the steward of the Lord. I will return all these to him with abundant yield. Much is asked of me because much has been given to me. I praise the Lord for his kindness to me now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As ascended, we go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. We shall now pray for the sick and for your religious articles. Our help us in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary. May all these articles be blessed and those who use them made holy, as they fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.